We have now reached step number five, the last step in the calculation of a forecast with seasonality in a trend. So just to review, calculated seasonal indexes, we de-seasonalized the data, we did linear regression, we projected the straight line into the future, and now we will multiply the, that straight line forecast by our seasonal indexes to get the forecast for the next, in our case, four quarters. So in the last step, we calculated those straight line numbers. So um, when we're talking about period 10, straight line forecast was 153.1. Now, period 10 is the second quarter of a year. So we multiplied that by the seasonal index for the second quarter, which is 0 0.988. And so we get a forecast for period 10 of 151.2. Period 11, we got a straight line forecast of 158.3. And then the seasonal index for the second quarter of the year is 1.298. So we get a seasonalized forecast of 205.6. Looking at period 12 of our series, we previously got a straight line forecast of 163.5. And then the seasonal index that we need to use for period 12 is 0 0.846. And the period 12 will be the fourth period of, of a year. So it's the seasonal index from period four. And we get 138.3 as our final seasonalized forecast for period number 12. And lastly, for period 13, we got a straight line forecast of 168.7, and we multiply by the seasonal index of 0 0.868, which is our seasonal index for the first quarter of a year, and we will get 146.6 as our forecast. So now we have seasonal forecasts for each period. I'm going to plot them on my uh, graph of questionable accuracy. So for period 10, we got a forecast of 151. So that's gonna look something like that. For period 11, we got 205, which would look like that. Period three, we get 138. So that's gonna look somewhere like that. Period 13, we got 146. So that's gonna look something like that. So if we, add those periods onto our graph, we can see here, as best as we can see anything on this poorly drawn graph, that the, the pattern being exhibited here in the four periods that we just projected into the future seems to fit the pattern of the first nine data points. If we'd like to get a better sense of how well the, the forecast is going to predict the future, um, something that I did not do, but it's quite simple to do, is to take the linear regression points all the way through our existing data and do the same thing that we just did here. Multiply this straight line by the seasonal indexes for X, each point, and we will get, a, if I were to draw that, we get a red line that very closely matches the existing green line. And so that's something that's often useful to do just as a check for yourself to see, do these calculations really seem to match uh, my existing um, data? How closely does the pattern that, that I've extracted using my math, how closely does that match what I actually have seen for sales? So to recap step five here, we took the straight line forecasts that we had previously forecasted or created when we projected the trend into the future took those straight line forecasts and we multiply by the seasonal index for that particular period. Um, 
period 10 is the second quarter of a year. So this was the, the seasonal index for the second quarter of a year. This is the third quarter of a year. So the seasonal index for the third quarter of a year. This would be the seasonal index for the fourth quarter of a year. This would be the seasonal index for the first quarter of the year. So I hope this has been helpful.